Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Python vs. Scammer. Um, I have some requests, people want me to do a tutorial on how to build a simple auto dialer to dial scammers numbers. Um, so in this tutorial I'm trying to show you guys um, a program that's written in 36 lines of code to dial scammers numbers, uh, chosen randomly and just continuous dialing one of the other. This is not by any means a call flutter so um, it, it, if you came for that that's not the one um, this is just only the auto dialer on a loop which will still waste tons of time of these scammers um, and the good thing about this auto dialers are th uh, these softwares are so small and you can run this virtually on anything a very old laptop with Windows 7 uh, minimum RAM, minimum CPU, e e this will work. So it doesn't require tons of uh, processing power like a call flutter would. So, <clears throat> you know, you can certainly do this for fun. Um, and if enough of us are doing this, uh, which uh, it will become a call flutter, if hundreds of computers are doing this continuously, then, you know, they, they're in real trouble. So anyways, I'm going to assume you have some of the basic stuff installed on your computer uh, if not you need to uh, first download python for windows i'm on windows um so if you're on a different platform follow just google download instructions for that and uh here's a python download um, section for windows um, and uh, you know choose the version you want to work with um, i would advise you to go with python 3 a point something up I'm currently on 3.64 but you know you can do 3.7 if you want um, just not to get the latest release uh, there may be some bugs get a stable one for the 64-bit um, installer click download follow the instructions very simple um, you sh if you're having any trouble with that there's uh, millions of videos on YouTube to show you how to download and install Python so if you have multiple version of Python in which in my computer that's the case i i have installed python 3.6 onto a separate folder on my c drive uh, which you will see in a second so that's how i keep my stuff organized but if you do not have any other python installed follow their instructions uh, everything should be uh easy breezy after you have done that um you need to install chrome driver this is the software that remote controls your chrome browser so i'm assuming you also have chrome on your computer um, if not, download Chrome. Um, in my case, my Chrome was version 77. So go to your Chrome settings, check what version you're running on, and you should match that version with the Chrome driver. So in my case, I have to download this. But if you have the later version, match 78, 79, whatever the case. If you have a very old version of Chrome, you haven't um, gone on the internet for a long time, then you should first upgrade your Chrome then download the Chrome driver matching that Chrome okay so this is just a, a zip file after you download this it's tiny uh, unzip it uh, to a location that you can recall later because this is important um, whatever you put this file because Python will need to know that all right so just keep a note don't just randomly put this somewhere or, or in the download section right somewhere on, on, on your hard drive you can remember where to recall this later Three, we're gonna get Selenium. This is a module um, that works with Python, that works with Chrome driver, that interact um, with all the interactions um, on, on the web application testing. Uh, oh, sorry, this Selenium package used to automate web browser interaction from Python. There you go, that's a perfect explanation for it. Um, and make sure you just get the latest version. So when you get Python, Chrome driver, Selenium is as simple as going to command um, just um, that you need to type in hit enter I already have installed so it will tell you it will tell me I don't I have this already uh, requirement already satisfied but for you you will download selenium for you um, 
and it will throw into whatever you install Python at, uh, libraries, set packages. Okay, so pip install Selenium, simple as that. Cool, so at this stage, I'm assuming you have Python, Chrome driver, Selenium. Three things before we move on. Next, we are um, TC. So this script, I I've shrunk down from a very advanced version to as simple as can get uh, for somebody who have zero programming background uh, or very little. I'll, I'll explain line by line what it means. I'll retype it for you guys, so that way you know you can type along with me, so you you know what I'm importing, why I'm importing certain things, and what are we doing. All right, so let's start from scratch again. Uh, from Selenium module, import web driver. From random, you will see why we're gonna need random integers later. <clears throat> or sleep, because we do, oh, sorry, time. We do need the script to pause from time to time. Okay, so type these three lines on a IDO of your choice. I'm just using Python um, standard IDO uh, that came with the software. You can use um, Sublime Text, you can use PyCharm, but I mean, this will be my recommendation since it's probably easier to use, in my opinion. All right, so if you can type in those three lines and hit F5. To run this you shouldn't have any errors if you have any errors here most likely it's because the installation of selenium was not successful you will say something like there's no module named selenium so in that case you if you install onto the wrong path or you typo the thing just you know pip install selenium again make sure that's done okay so if you don't see any error messages here great or moving on to um Let's get to um, a driver and get to the location of where we want to, to the URL. Uh, I should really type this out. Okay. <sighs> driver equals what? Driver Chrome. <clears throat> Here it's uh, where we. Uh, left your Chrome driver. Uh, remember when I said after you install your Chrome driver, you really should know down the location is on your hard drive. So for me, I, I kind of uh, just dumped it at Chrome driver, C slash Chrome driver. That's the folder. Instead of that is Chrome driver again, dot, ex, dot exe, executable. But you don't have to type the dot exe in the end. It, this will work just fine. So after that, we need to tell the driver to navigate to where we want to go. The URL will be bobrtc.live slash phone book. Um, okay, we'll save this. F5. Bam. Okay, so here, because uh, bobrtc is connected, it's signed in using Discord. I'm assuming you also have a Discord uh, account. All right, so this window uh, is redirects to Discord. Don't get alarmed. That's normal. That's, that's you see this. Um, you have uh, followed every instruction so far um, correctly, and uh, congratulations. We're we're halfway there. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video now, and uh, we're gonna. Well, I'm gonna keep this probably tutorial into three segments. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much information. So. 10 minutes each maybe, um, you know, um, so three videos and you should be able to have your auto-doubter going. Okay, thank you for watching and um, check out the next video. Thank you.